Welcome to 2020 Con Expo. We're at the Superior booth. My name is Kurt Thyssen. Uh, today I'm going to go over our Valor VSIB Crusher belt drive model. You can actually see that one side is lower than the other. That's to make sure that the belt pull is good. You're not always pulling from one side or the other. The belts line up in the drive tunnel. Um, if you come around this angle, we have uh, bolt-on wear-in liners. Uh, we have this easy just swing bolt to lock the lid down in position. Uh, this particular model is a 600 horsepower version. We also have 400 and all the way up to 800 horsepower model ver versions. Here we have our lid lifter. Um, of course in the field it's very important to be able to access this crusher uh, to be able to change the wear parts um, look and be able to see what's going on inside the crusher. So in this case we have a, a dual acting hydraulic cylinder. This is going to raise and lower your lid out in the field. You can see here we also have a plate that actually helps you lock the uh, lid in place when you are doing maintenance to the crusher. <clears throat> um, it's very easy. Um, all you, literally all you have to do is just push it over, right? So once you get it in the raised position, you just put pressure on the, the lid itself and it'll, it'll roll over away so you can actually free to do your work. Um, if you look at the top here, we have an adjustable feed tube um, and, and a hopper assembly. If you come underneath, this is our feed tube. This is actually going to in, be inserted into the, the rotor that, we, that we'll talk about in a bit and inside the machine. Um, that's an adjusted by the, the big bolts on the outside. We can adjust the height through the center of it. Um, here, all the lower wear plates on the bottom side of the lid that protect the lid from uh, the material flowing through the inside of the crusher. Um, you can see here we actually can do multiple different configurations uh, with these crushers that allows us to be um, quite flexible and application wise. So we have our rock on rock which is your your enclosed rock rotor, four port rotor throwing into a rock box. You can also actually insert anvils to help with uh, reduction in that same configuration with the enclosed rotor and then we can also go to an open shoe table type rotor with anvils and that allows us to put larger feed size as well to this crusher. So if we want we can jump on up and you can see here this is our, our four port enclosed rotor. Um, every little square inch of this baby is filled with wear parts to protect it from the material flowing through the crusher. Um, we have our edge liners, our top cover, our lower and upper rotor liners, and then also our tungsten, our tungsten tips here. You can see there's a tungsten inlay, uh, very abrasion resistant, helps this, these parts here really hold up to the, the abrasion wear of the, the material sliding through the uh, openings in the rotor port. We have our symmetry rotor here. So the really cool thing about this rotor is you basically get two times the, the service life. So instead of, you, you run the, the rotor in one direction, you wear wear parts out on one side of the rotor, and then it's just as easy as flipping a switch or your motor leads, which then turns the direction of the rotor back around the other way, and then you can actually run the machine that way to wear out those motor parts, so you basically lose an interval of maintenance. So that helps you um, <clears throat> just get more wear time before you actually have to go into the machine and work on it.